the Lord's way is not fair. How many of us have thought that as we look at the events in the world and look at the scriptures, that it just doesn't seem right. Something doesn't make sense. The fact that, for example, last week, those who arrived at the last hour would get paid the same amount doesn't seem fair. Or today, the fact that the son who was good and obeyed the Lord's, obeyed his dad's orders, but then disobeyed, would be not favored over the son who said, I will not go, I will not do it, and yet changes his mind. What kind of God do we serve? Well, maybe the standards of human fairness don't, don't equal the Lord's standard of justice. Because our God is a just God. God is a good God, a loving God. In God's justice, God's ways are not our ways. We heard in the book of Ezekiel and then also echoed in the responsorial psalm the goodness of the Lord. And St. Paul urges all those who listen to his letters to have the mind and heart of Jesus Christ, to have a mind and heart together. And today, as we ponder on this, the Father's will, we are reminded that not only, and you have to update this a little bit, not only revenue agents, not only those who are trafficked or traffic themselves will enter the kingdom of God before some of the people who think that they're righteous, but sinners will enter the kingdom of God sometimes before we who think that we're serving God will. So how do we get there? How do we follow the Lord's will? One way is to ask for the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, help me to understand. Give me the wisdom and the counsel to understand God's ways. Another way is to ask the Father. Call the Father, address him, pray, God of justice. God of justice, come and hear my prayer. Open my eyes, Lord. And finally, to listen to the emptying of Jesus. Jesus pours himself out as a libation and gives himself, empties himself. Maybe that same sense of emptying ourselves of our will, our thoughts, our ways, and seeking the will of God is the way to the kingdom. God bless you.